Conservation of energy is total energy in a closed system remains constant before and after an event, where total energy is sum of energies and a closed system does not involve a transfer of matter and or energy in or out. Let's break down this definition of conservation of energy. The first part we're going to look at is a closed system. A closed system does not involve a transfer of matter and or energy in or out. So what I have here is a rectangular box. We are not going to allow any matter or energy in, and we are not going to allow any matter or energy out. Since we're not allowing it, the system is what we call closed. Inside our rectangular box, we have a situation. In this situation, we have a sled that's at, that is at the top of a hill of height h. We want to know the total energy before the event occurs. Now the event is the sled sliding down the hill. So it's going to go from the top of the hill all the way down to the bottom of the hill. That's the event. So before the event occurs, we want to know what is the total energy before the event occurs. Then the event occurs, and then we want to know what is the total energy after the event occurs. Total energy is just the sum of whatever energies are available before the event and the sum of the energies available after the event. Now conservation of energy says that the total energy before the event must equal the total energy after the event. You can convert from one kind of energy to another kind of energy before and after the event, but the sum of the energies before and after the event must be the same. So for example, we have a sled that's at the top of our hill. It has all potential energy. That is the only energy available before the event occurs. Therefore, the sum of all energies is just the potential energy. The object has the potential to move to ground if we let the slide go. The sled moves, it goes to ground, and then after it reaches ground, it's actually moving to the right with a speed v. So we have converted all of our potential energy into motion of the slide moving to the right, which is called kinetic energy. The only energy in the after event is kinetic energy. The only energy in the before event is potential energy. We converted all of our potential energy into all of our kinetic energy. However, all the energy before the event and after the event remain the same. The sum of the energies before must equal the sum of the energies after, where the equal sign is the event. And this is what we mean by the conservation of energy. The total energy in a closed system remains constant before and after the event.